So dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable to yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight and neck head straight in one line. Your right palm on your left and gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound mentally, relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. तस् भगवतो रहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो रहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो रहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् होमेज टू द ब्लेस्ड वन the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So bring your attention to your body, please, and observe head to toes yourself and say so patveva or may I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalation in front of your nose or your upper lip area. So in the beginning, we're going to relax our body step by step, following my words mentally, relax your body, please. Relax your head. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your eyes. Relax your ears, relax your nose, relax your upper lip, relax your lower lip, relax your chin, relax your whole face muscles. Relax your teeth, relax your tongue, relax your mouth, relax your throat, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. Relax your back muscles and relax your spine.
Relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs. Relax your heart. Relax your liver. Relax your kidneys. Relax your gallbladder. Relax your pancreas. Relax your small intestine. And relax your large intestine. Relax your all abdominal organs. So here relax means just allow that organs to function itself. And you detach your mind, you separate your mind, you release your mind from that organ. Don't interfere with your physical function. Just let your body to be itself. Like how the drop of water fell down from the sky and reached to the ocean without any navigation, without any irrigation, to allow your body to function itself. Relax your buttock. Relax your thigh. Relax your knee. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your foot. Relax your toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. So bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathing, breathe out three times and find the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation in front of your nose or your upper lip area. Somewhere around in between maybe upper lip or your nose. So bring attention to that sensation. So allow it to happen itself. And when it happens, just recognize this is inhalation as so this is exhalation. Do nothing extra. If it is possible, remain without moving your body. Keep unmovable posture. 
just be very limited to see only the sensation of inhalation, exhalation without chattering yourself or commenting yourself, arguing, comparing your own experience to anything. Just simply settle down with the inhalation or exhalation. Like how you watch the sunset or sunrise, ocean, how you enjoy the river or the waterfall. So without in any interference, just see the sensation of inhalation, exhalation. Don't allow your any thoughts to interfere with the moment of experience. Your inhalation, exhalation happens naturally itself. So just keep observing. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Time to time, see how your body, where are your mind, where are your attention. You always have to remember you are your own teacher, you are your own master, you are your own guru.
bring a little bit more attention and follow the entire continuation of the inhalation exhalation. And recognize this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalation, so exhalations. You may see some inhalation, exhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just recognize it. Actually, it happened according to the condition of your mind. Just observe. Calming down your body inhalation happens, calming down your body exhalations happens. Calming down your mind inhalation happens, calming down your mind exhalation happens. Be free from all the theories, patterns, techniques, methods. Get out of preconditioned mind. Just see what you experience in the moment. And thoroughly, deeply analyze that, observe it.
Bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. And also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Being so, uh, pray low strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside. your left side, and to your right side, downward, and upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
से साधु साधु सो डियर धम्मा प्रैक्टिशनर्स through this meditation practice we try to develop the clarity in our mind it's not a kind of like a, we don't have any desire to to manipulate our mind or we don't look for something outside or oh, there, there is no any kind of miracle going to happen so we always trying to develop the clarity inside our mind so what is this clarity you may heard this word all the and nowadays with this meditation and the people talk about the clarity 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 clear every way it's kind of like a mantra and it became a very marketing word and everybody look for this so what is the clarity and catch this and remember this very carefully and reflect on it again and again and try to get into the bottom of that meaning so the clarity means ability to see so that seeing means not only by eye that is very important so whatever the perception come to you through your eye ear nose tongue body and forget about the mind for the moment if you become complete with this five and naturally you going to see the mind so that's why we not going to mention it it's kind of like when you say the top of the mountain you no need to talk about the landscape so like that just be very limited to the five faculties with the eye ear nose tongue body the perception come to you from outside ability to see so that's mean that all the five perception ability to see without any tinted mind so the tinted that you know that the sometimes people cover the glass with the very the kind of like a tinted sticker then you cannot see what is happening inside or maybe you don't see like especially vehicles or the windows so without covering the perception from the ideas or whatever come to your eye ear nose tongue body the perception without any contamination the without any contaminated mind from love fear anger hatred jealousy like dislike like that preconditioned mind if you able to see the perception as it is that is what called clarity there's nothing else but even sometimes regarding the clarity about the 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 meaning of the clarity maybe you have a contaminated idea then you not going to find it because sometimes the truth as truth people have different ideas so sometimes the happiness as from 10 people and what they talk about the happiness and it happen to the god also and you you know there are different kind of versions regarding the god see it happened to the god also that the people have their own version of god so to the clarity you cannot have that that's why you have to understand sometimes as a clarity if you have a very contaminated idea then you not going to get it 
So then you have to come to the very pure level of perception and accept it and see. So once it come to that, you're going to see things as it is. So that is what the tranquility meditation does. Not to take you out of kind of like a different experience, not to kind of like uh, take you to any kind of mental manipulation, no, not to take you there or not to bring something very weird experience to you. Remember that. In case when you practice meditation, rather than experiencing the sensation or the perception, if something experience yourself, then you have to bring the attention because when sometimes when the attention disappear, very weird things can happen. It's, it's, a, it's a very simple, you know, the mind is so tricky and mind is so smart. And sometimes imagine, you know, you may experience, some people see dreams. And then when they wake up, they talk about the dream. And they, they, and sometimes they go and search about the dream. They ask from others regarding the dream. So that means they are still in a dream. Because you, you saw a dream, get it very carefully, you saw a dream and then you wake up. And once you wake up, you start to think about the dream. So that means you are still in the dream. You are not separate from, if you are able to understand it is a dream, you, you just release from it and then move forward. See, that, that is, that is the, the, the way the mind plays. So then when it comes to the real moment of experience, you have to have a certain mental ability, strength, clarity, that the clarity and the, the faith regarding that what you experience. Of course, you have it. You always have, remember, when you come to this human world, you always have the faith, energy, confidence, trust. So you all have this and the awareness. It is not something you gain from outside. Only thing is this all the faith. Even just imagine. If you drink a beer, alcohol, cigarette, even if you take drugs, if you, if you go clubbing, if you go for dancing, even if you go and eat somewhere, even you have an affair and even you have a double affair regarding you know, somebody else and then you have another affair. So still you have a faith regarding that. Otherwise you cannot do. There is nothing going to come out of the human mind without the faith. Even you go to war, even you stealing, if, even you go to war, even you that the killing somebody, even you suicide, it's happened everywhere. So you have the faith regarding that. That's why you go for it because the very nature of the mind, without the faith or the confidence, the mind doesn't go that way. The thing is we have the faith re regarding the wrong things, improfitable things. So that's why the right faith means that when you are able to start to develop the trust, the confident conviction, and when you invest your energy regarding profitable things, and then your path going to become more, more and more profitable for you. So the meditation is a method Slowly, little by little, you start to transform yourself that whatever the faith that you have. So everybody have that. And then you little by little, you transform it. 
it is not you bringing from somewhere it is already in you energy it's always in you look at from life from birth to now how much energy you spend for different things it's not easy especially having a lay life you have to be strong if you become physically weak you know you you cannot maintain this life so then for what you invest your energy for what you invest your confidence for what you invent your conviction for what you can invent invest your faith have you got the result so you have to look to yourself if not we have to change it but the thing is this what we does we slowly replace something we didn't get it then we replace it we replace it to something but there is something out of this all once you start to merge harmonize with the this natural existence the nature which we call as reality once your effort once your energy once your conviction once your trust once your discipline start to merge and start to harmonize with that there is no profitable or unprofitable outcome going to happen that is where really you going to get the the happiness according to the buddha so remember they are saying that uh, one idiot you no know, and doing the doing the bad things went to hell ignorance person doing bad things went to hell and one idiot or the ignorance person doing good things went to heaven so the both you know reach to a place doing something and out of that what they do out of that result they gain something but is it possible for you to do a action your bodily verbally mentally action can you do just just try to try to understand yourself and see is there any way can you perform one one any single bodily verbally or mentally action not to get the result back so you are so capable to do a lot of things just try how you can perform one single bodily or verbally or mentally action that is only three actions we can do can you do not to get the feedback or not to get the count action or not to get the result just simply action there is a way it it, it that there is ability in you to do that so try try yourself slowly so the trying means here that we a practice point of view we have to use this vocabulary so little by little look how how you can do that there is a way it's like a you getting a key this is what happened if you are able to perform one single bodily verbally or mentally action not to get the result back just only the action it's a one way you just do that's it there is no naturally the count action going to happen that is the day you you transform you any more you not going to you not going to come back to the this uh, 
ordinary existence. Naturally, after that, you upgrade to another level. You know, you upgrade your computer, you upgrade your cell phone software, you upgrade your TV, you upgrade your this uh, cable box, this kind of, you know, you up upgrade all the machines. Once you upgrade, you can get into the, the older version. It is very difficult. All the files, the softwares, huh? this everything start to function in a different way. It, in, anymore, sometimes, you know, it's not going to accept that old things. And you may know sometimes when you email some certain kind of files, if you don't have that software, that file not going to accept it. The file cannot open. Then you have to transform it to something. You have to import it to a different version. Otherwise you cannot do it. So same thing happened to you. So then it is your personal responsibility the, the, the conventional level of function, this version, if you're able to transform it to more higher level, then you've experienced you in a, it is going to be very deeper. But the thing is, we always with our perception in the very basic level, we manipulate that. We already contaminated with our previous experience. So that's why we cannot merge or they, we cannot harmonize with that natural process. So then little by little, little by little, you, you first wait, you have to come to see things as it is. Once you are able to see, then that what in the very first level, once you see with your bodily verbally, so you with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, remember this. Once you see the perception with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, without any contaminated mind, without any tinted mind, you're going to see things as it is, perception. Once you're able to see, there is a wisdom arise you how to react or how to perform a bodily, verbally, mentally action according to that perception. That is where you can perform an action without getting any reaction. It's action, it's done. There's no way the feedback going to happen. So just imagine, how about you spend a moment, you come to a moment, you completely get out of this circular method of action, reaction, result, action, reaction, result, action, reaction, result. Once you get into a moment, just only the action, one way, no U-turn, no reaction. You release from this all the mental formations or the sanskara or the any kind of versions that you carry in your mind. So when you come to that, there is something happened. So what you, you start to see things even beyond your, the, the moment of experience. But the thing is, without, without come to this moment of experience, don't try to get into that. Don't even imagine about it. Because we are, we are already contaminated that, that our, even the enlightenment, our Nibbana, our transformation, we already contaminated. That we, sometimes with that idea, we come to practice meditation. 
and because of that out of meditation you keep close your eyes you already set up inside your tinted mind out of that tinted mind even you observe the sensation and maybe you have a different idea about what is sensation maybe you have your own version of sensation so that's why little by little little by little you have to listen and when it come to practice you have to be honest to yourself and give your best 100% be truthful to yourself then you you can but if you have a double mind to manipulate whatever you are practice you are responsible for that you will know one day oh i manipulated myself because that is the that is very human nature that is where are we coming from you know that whatever the situation come we always convert it and we try to make make it a kind of like a comfortable for us and whatever you know and we are very very kind of like a way, we have very cunning mind we we have ability to transform many thing and find the good according to that situation we don't see ourselves oh this is wrong or oh, i am doing wrong like that we somehow somehow find a, no no this is good this is good like that so that, that is our mind it's like uh, you know that this flat earth societies and see what they talk about uh, that the earth is flat somehow they they want to find and they come. and then the people talk about the aliens and somehow they find evidence to think about they 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 are right you know and somehow that the people talk about the ghost and somehow they find evidence to prove their experience is right but when it come to them finally it is the just version of our own mind and wherever we see and whatever we look it is a it's a bounce back it's a reflection of our own creation and recently i uh, so a very beautiful article regarding this uh, mars and the this people look for the the un, other planets and living beings and the, as you know that the, there is a, they send the rover to the mars in this article the scientists talk about how these germs and very small molecules and living beings in this plant in the human body exist and they are capable to like germs they are capable to develop a life and they send the rover machine and they found out in the nasa that they didn't that the clean it very well the rover machine it's they did it somehow and they missed some certain cleaning and there was some kind of that the the germs and maybe that the some kind of certain that uh, fungus with they send it with that fungus and the scientists telling that's mean they already send the living beings to the mars and then by the time what may can happen that that what the, the fungus and whatever that the, the 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 from here what they send there they may create a different kind of life in that environment so then imagine they find a bug later another within another 10 years and then what they going to recognize oh this is a bug living in mars but from where it went it went from the human world but they recognize it from a thinking oh this is a, the living being in the mars so like that 
this everything the same it is a reflection of our mind and our mind create when it come to the the mental world the same thing happen it's a re, it's a it's a creation of our mind but when it bounce back we cannot recognize it is our mind so then always remember mind is so capable to to rec, that do this magic so this if you able to that uh, come to the clarity and you will release that so there was a in in a zoo there were two camels father and son and it's uh, this uh, little little camel asked from father father in a zoo okay so the this little camel asked father what is this hum in our back oh son that is for us when we go in the desert and we can live for long time we can keep the water there oh good and then uh, later father i have another question why we uh, why our legs like this oh son it because when we walk in the sand and we can have more resistance oh okay then again right a father i have another question if you don't mind the father told yes why are our eyelashes like this oh son because sometimes when we walk in the sand this wind come with the sand the sand tornadoes come and to protect our eyes that's why so then again this little camel okay now i understand then again ask father if you don't mind i have another question yeah father told you yeah. uh, ask father what we doing here in this zoo and then the father told that is the problem with the human you know so that's how we manipulated the nature and everything even ourselves you know we 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 completely go in a different way of life but when you come to this understanding and when you develop the clarity you become like a mother how you go with your children to the beach and then maybe you play with their sand castle and you more motivate them to do that and you enjoy and maybe you in interfere with them but how when the evening come when the sunset come when you when you know that it's going to be dark sooner and you say okay let's go home and you have no any connection maybe the children say no no let's play you say no 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 let's go home see you interfere with them and you encourage them but the, when the time come you have capability to get out of that so then remember when you develop the clarity you gain a wisdom it's like uh, the elephant footprint that all the teachings like the elephant footprint is the biggest footprint when it come to animal world any animals footprint can put it to elephant footprint like that this all the teachings the what you experience with your eye ear nose tongue body mind with the any perception when you have the clarity like how the mother det detach the children from the situation no enjoyment so yourself you have ability to understand this everything that you experience is impermanent whatever you experience with your eye ear nose tongue body mind this everything nothing going to remain this everything in par in that level of understand you are capable to 
detach from it without holding any single thought. You just move. That is the power of you. You gain when you merge to the clarity. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of happiness in this very lifetime and end of the sansaric journey. May all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabitio Vajantu Sabro Govina Satu Mate Bhavatantarayo Suki Dika Yuko Bhava Etavatacha Mehi Sampadam Punya Sampadam Sabbe Deva Numodan to Sabba Sampati Siddhya Sabbe Bhuta Numodan to Sabba Sampati Siddhya Sabbe Sata Numodan to Sabba Sampati Siddhya Idami Punya Kaman Asavakaya vahanho tu sabba dukkha pamunchatu. Bless you.